going on out there everybody rooster here in tennessee looking at another piece of equipment that we're going to review and do a uh, test on here and it's the workman hp 202s swr watt meter uh reads swr and power output uh simultaneously at the same time uh, the meter to the right will come up and you can see you've got a scale down here on the bottom that reads swr uh, all the way up to an 8. If you've got an 8 SWR, you're in bad trouble. But uh, it reads all that. gives you a, a, a rating on your reflected power and your SWR while you're transmitting. Now, when I got these, I wasn't sure. I thought that they were average power meters, and they actually seem to be average power. So, that being said, they're not going to swing and, and jive all over the place. Um like a dosi or something would but um they're more they're going to read more like a bird meter so that's what we're going to compare it to i've got my uniden 66 here the bird meter is in line with a thousand watt slug we've got this uh we've got the radio going into our little two pill 1446 amp over here two pill 1446 amp into the hp 202s and then that goes into the watt meter. Now, just for scale, let's see if I can slide this thing over here. That's the uh, comparison. They're about the same size, the little two-pill amp and the watt meter. Fairly light, uh, doesn't weigh very much. And uh, I would think it'd be a nice meter to run in your vehicle. And I haven't stress tested these to see what kind of power they'll handle. A thousand watts average is about an eight pill, so, um, most eight pills do around 1,000 watts, 800 watts average, something like that. Uh, I'd feel comfortable running 1,000 watts peak into it at least. Um, but beyond that, I'm not sure. I may actually end up running one of these in my pickup uh, when I get a one driving four in. But that being said, we've got a 10 watt scale, 100 watt scale, and a 1,000 watt scale. And we're going to test it on the, uh, we'll do it first on the 100 watt scale. We'll test our little amp. Uh, the amp is on low right now. And what we'll do is we'll get a power reading on the uh, on the workman here, and then we'll compare it to the bird. So we're looking at that top scale. It says 10W, so that's going to be 10 watts, 100 watts, or 1,000 watts, depending on where we've got the uh, we've got it scaled here. And we are on 100 watts. Our amp is on low. Put some dead key in there. There we go. And we'll just audio, audio, about 55, 60 watts. And we're showing about a 10 watt dead key. Audio, 55, audio, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3. See, if we were on a peak meter, the thing would be swinging, going crazy, but it's kind of just bouncing some. And then when you put a stiff, oh, yeah, about 55 watts is what we're showing. So 55 watts on low power. Let's come over to the bird. We've got a 1,000 watt slug in here. Let's see if we can clear that up a little bit. There you go, 1,000 watt slug. So the first hash mark that doesn't have a number on it is going to be 100 watts. And then you've got, uh, was it 20, 40, 60? Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So uh, we're going to see what this thing does. Now, we're still in low power. We showed 55 watts on the Workman. With a 10-watt dead key, if you remember. We're showing... Dang, this thing keeps getting blurry. So that's pretty close to a 10 watt dead key there. And then, oh, 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 showing about 60 on the bird. Oh, so 60 watts average on the bird versus uh, 55 on the workman. Now, if we had a 500 watt slug, let's see. I don't know if I've got my 500 watt slug. I don't have it in here. The bird may read a little closer to accurate 
uh, to the workman if we had a 55 watt or a 500 watt slug. But let's just finish our test here. Let's go to high power. And we're going to test the uh, the workman here on high with the two pill on high. Audio. 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 Hello. Audio. Test, test. Test, test. Test, test. Audio. 80 watts or so. So let's go over here to the bird once again. Audio. Once again, the bird shows just a little more, but right around 80. Audio. Maybe a little bit more than 80. So showing about 5 watts difference in favor of the uh, bird showing a little bit more average power. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn the amplifier off. And we're actually just going to check our radio here. So I'm going to take the 1,000 watt slug in, out. And I'm going to put the 50 watt slug in. Now again, average power only. This thing reads like a bird. 50 watt slug. Let's, uh, for this test, we'll turn our dead key wide open on our radio so we can get a dead key reference and an output reference. Oh, we better go that 10 watt slug. That's not going to work. So now we're on the 10 watt, 10 watt scale. 10 watt scale, not slug. I'm sorry. Okay, so showing about a four and a half watt day key. Audio. 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 <laughs> this thing's reading tight. Audio. 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 Five and a half to six watts. Average. Um, on the workman. Now let's go over here to the bird. We got a 50 watt slug in there. We're showing a 5 watt dead key instead of a, what was that, a 4 on the workman? Audio. Showing about 8 watts average. Audio. Now this radio will do about 9.5 just going directly to the meter, but we're going through a watt meter and an amp to get here, so we're showing a little less. But hello, audio, audio. About eight and a half or so, eight uh, on the bird. So again, on the Workman, four and a half watt dead key versus five. And then audio, audio, audio. Almost six versus about an eight on the bird. So, guys, that's it. Uh, this is the review of this thing. I've got some of these in. And if you don't want to spend the money on a bird, but you want something that reads pretty close to a bird, um, I would recommend one of these. Now, that being said, uh, the difference in the bird and the workman could be because the workman's in line first and then the bird, but I don't think so. I mean, I, I really think that, that it's just a little bit tighter of a watt meter. Uh, here's the paperwork that comes with it. Tells you all about it here. I checked the SWR on it uh, coming out, and it was about a 1-1. One, one. Going into it was a 105, 108. Coming out was a 1-1. One, one. So uh, I believe the SWR is fine on them. Don't seem to be throwing a high standing wave coming out the back of them. But uh, there you go, 26 to 30 megahertz. And uh, they'll come in a little box, and then I'll double box them here. So if you're interested, please let me know. Um, watt meter under uh, under seventy five dollars shipped. Maybe under seventy dollars shipped. We'll just have to see. But uh, good working little watt meter, thousand watts average uh, scale reads the reflected power and SWR at the same time, and uh, you see how it measures up against a bird. There you go, guys. Never imagined that I would be comparing a, a workman to a bird meter, but uh, you be the judge of the comparison for yourself. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Rooster in Tennessee. Just trying to show some uh, different equipment here. Y'all have a good day. See you, bye.